plant a seed and watch it grow. One dollar is all it takes to make a difference. Visit www.worshipcenterradio.net and click the banner on the right-hand side and sow a seed to Worship Centre Radio, the platform of champions. From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. Welcome, beloved, to the Supernatural Church with your hosts, Dr. Hattie Patterson and Pastor Kilwana Brown. The Supernatural Church is about demonstrating kingdom dominion in and on earth as it is in heaven. Now let's go into the broadcast. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, beloved, for his mercy endure forever throughout all generations. We celebrate our God for who he is and who we are in him. Father, we thank you on today for your kingdom power, your dominion, and your rule, and your reign in the earth realm. Hallelujah. We say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your great and mighty name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in and on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we thank you for giving us this day our daily bread and for giving us our debts as we forgive our debt towards and leading us not into temptation, but delivering us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Ever. Father, I thank you. We take authority over these airways. Hallelujah. That your kingdom rule. Hallelujah. Power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for your Shekinah glory. Hallelujah. Even filling the homes and filling the cars or wherever the listeners are. I pray right now that the eyes of their understanding be enlightened even now in the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word will give light. Hallelujah. And understanding to the simple for your word declared. Hallelujah. That your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Precious Holy Spirit, we yield, submit, and surrender unto your authority. We come in the name of the name that's above every name. King Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we honor you today in our place of your dominion and your power. We thank you, O God, for stretching forth your right arm to heal, deliver, holy, cast out devils, raise the dead, and cleanse the leper. I decree and declare the blind do see. Hallelujah. The lame walk, the maim are made whole. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for creating miracles, diverse miracles. We thank you, hallelujah, for your healing power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you for a word of wisdom and a word of knowledge. Glory to God. The gift of discerning the spirits. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The working of miracles and the gifts of healing. Hallelujah. Springing forth on today. Hallelujah. All of you and none of us. Glory to God. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living waters. We decree and declare that the rivers flow now. Your anointing, your power, and your glory. We thank you that we bind our enemies right now. They are subdued in the name of Jesus. Again, we take um, authority over these airwaves. Glory to God. And we decree that the kingdom come in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit of God. Beloved, welcome to the Supernatural Church. Hallelujah with your um, host. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Myself. Hallelujah, Dr. Hattie Patterson, as well as Pastor, Prophetess, Kilwana Brown. Hallelujah. Demonstrating kingdom authority and dominion on earth as it is in heaven. Our job is to equip the uh, believers, equip the saints for the working of miracles, signs, and wonders. I decree miracles, signs, and wonders do follow us. Glory to God in the highest. God has given us his grace gift. Hallelujah. That the church of believers will be manifesting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the kingdom of God on earth. Hallelujah, uh, setting the captives free, releasing the captivity. Hallelujah, of those who are bound by the tyrant king, Satan. Hallelujah, of the world systems. Glory to God. I, I decree and declare this is the hour of the emerging. 
hallelujah, prophetic voices in the earth in this hour. I decree and declare that the spheres, the seven mountains, hallelujah, God's people will begin to occupy in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit of God. So, beloved, I honor um, our God on today, and I thank God for your listening. In hallelujah, I believe, hallelujah, that the Holy Spirit has a word for you today. Glory to God to set you on course to that which he called you to be and to do. Hallelujah. As the believer, a believer in the kingdom of God is someone who is fully persuaded, think it to be true, and know it to be true out of your relationship with the most high God. So, beloved, I'm glad that you're here today. And I honor God for you. Hallelujah. And if you desire to call in on today, if you need prayer or, or even want to comment on today, you can call in at 248 796 8241. Again, beloved, that number is 248 796 8241. Glory to God. And as you know, we've been talking about prayer, my daughter and myself. I thank God for her. Uh, she'll be coming in in a minute. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I just want to read a scripture because I know one of the, the main thing um, that we want to deal with is our identity and who we are in our identity. Hallelujah. And who we are at the church of Jesus Christ as the army of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I decree and prophesy in your hearing that we're in the hour of the arising of the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. But that's that prerequisite of those who have a clean hand and a pure heart. You know, God has been talking to us um, even on Tuesday. Um, no, that was on Sunday. God began to talk about who are you connected to? Glory to God. And it was talking about him being the vine and we being the branches out of John 15. Beloved, you need to read that understanding that God is the source of all things. He is the power source that you must be plugged in. Hallelujah. In the pureness of your motives, in the pureness of your heart that you be, can become all that he has predestined for you to be in demonstration and a witness of who he is in the earth. The earth and I our job is to represent or represent our God in the earth to reconcile hallelujah the ministry of reconciliation has been given to you and I as the believer hallelujah to do this work hallelujah reconciling mankind um, back unto the one and true living God. The Bible declares that God so loved you and I so much that he gave his only begotten son, hallelujah, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and that's what yours and my job is to do, hallelujah, to give daddy back his children. Hallelujah, he sent his son so that he, we could be reunited back with who he is and back with who he is and who we are in him. Hallelujah, so if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your not only your savior, but your master, your Lord, your ruler, you are been sent in the earth for such a time as this to show forth God's glory and his power. But I just want to read Ephesians 4. I just felt led by the Spirit. And God just gave this to me about two minutes ago. I don't even know if it's really even been two minutes ago. Probably haven't even been a minute ago. When God began to drop Ephesians 4 into my spirit so that you and I would know glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Um, why God has called you. Glory to God and why God have need of us to walk in the dominion and the authority that has been delegated to us in the authority of the name of King Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 1. First, I was going to go down to the scripture that talks about how he gave some, but I feel led by the Spirit to read the whole, um, to begin at verse 1 and say, Therefore, hallelujah, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Yes. Now, see, beloved, that's what's so powerful right there. God is calling for us to become and be and do what he has predestined for us to do, and he wants us to walk worthy of that vocation, worthy of that call that's upon in our life. God is looking for a clean heart. Hallelujah. A pure heart with pure motives that have revelation, the revealed knowledge of God. Hallelujah. That you and I have been sent from the kingdom. We've been born of a kingdom. Hallelujah. And just, uh, just the fact that you and I have been born again is a supernatural experience. Glory to God. Yes, God. And we are a supernatural organism as the church of Jesus Christ. And God expects each of us to walk worthy of our vocation wherewith you and I are called that when we work in concert, 
in unity one with another, we will begin to see a glory that we have not yet um, seen. We see a glory over here, or oh God working over here, miracle signs and wonders, but God is calling for body ministry. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. And he said that he wants us to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called with all lowliness and meekness with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Now, this is the revelation that we're going to um, need to get a revelation of, is that God is expecting you and I, hallelujah, to take the low road, be low and meek, and long suffering, forbearing with one another. Why? Because this is teamwork. Hallelujah. I said, God is calling us to teamwork. There's no such thing as I. Paul told you over there in Romans 7, every time I tried to do, he always failed. But when we come under the spirit of God and recognize we one body, one force, working in unity in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That's, that's the prerequisite to a supernatural church. Glory to God. And it's even prerequisite to the foundation, which is done through our prayer life. Glory to God that we can decree, hallelujah, what God is saying into the now, hallelujah, being able to bring his will in the earth. So he said in verse 3, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Beloved, God is calling the church of Jesus Christ to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. It's not about how, um, you know, you think you're greater than someone else. Matter of fact, God tells you and I that we ought to think, uh, consider ourselves um, Lord and others and then our own brothers in the name of Jesus. Listen to this here in verse 4. Sounds so beautiful to me. There is one body. Glory to God. Yes, God. And one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope, one hope, one Amen. hope in your calling. So we all been called. Hallelujah. And we have got the ones that are chosen, the few that's chosen. Hallelujah. Like us in the office of the apostle, prophet. Hallelujah. Pastor, teacher, and evangelist. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are chosen to equip. Glory to God. And to be Amen. one. He said there's one Lord. One faith, one baptism. God is a one God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're one force, not breaking rank, not trying to be hiding another, and not tearing each other down. Glory to God. Amen. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Glory Thank to God Jesus. in the higher. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Uh, we ought to celebrate God for yeah. his grace. Yes, hallelujah. God. According to the measure, mm -hmm. hallelujah, of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, glory to God, mm -hmm. he led captivity captive and Thank gave you, gifts unto men. Glory to God. And we at the supernatural church. We have revelation. Glory to God that this is not just the apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, and evangelist job. Hallelujah. Yes, but if you're a believer, glory to God. And out of your intimacy with God, God wants you to be a witness in the land of the living, full of power, glory, yes. and might, working in signs, miracles, and wonders. You got to start prophesying to your own self. Yes, Hallelujah. Said, I do cast out devils, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, and heal the sick mm -hmm. by the power and authority of the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I don't have boldness to walk up. I'm telling you in the hour that you need to make haste. Glory to God. Yes, you need to be going to your loved ones and everybody else that you get in the vicinity to cry loud and spare not. Glory yes, to God. God. And come in the authority because you're submitted under authority. Come into the authority, glory to God, of the Most High God. Yes, hallelujah to demonstrate glory to God. To Hallelujah to a people mm -hmm. that need to know that they need to make haste and enter in. Yes, hallelujah. God. When he talks about many are called, God is summonsing people through the mm -hmm. gospel of Jesus Christ into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hear the summons on today yes. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to get out of the low level devil living. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And reign as king priest in the earth. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And again, I'm going to go back to verse 8. Wherefore he said, glory to God, when he ascended on high, talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. he led captivity captive. Hallelujah. Glory mm -hmm. to God for him doing that. Glory to God, Abraham yes. and all the rest. And gave gifts unto men. Yes, Hallelujah. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended? Glory to God. First into the lower parts of the earth. Hallelujah. He went down there in hell quarters. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. on a, but he got up on the third day. Yes, and God. then he not only resurrected, but he has ascended yes, at the right hand of power. Glory to God. And because he has ascended, and the word of God declares that you and I, hallelujah, are seated in heavenly places. We have ascended with him. Glory to God by receiving him as our Lord and our Savior and our Master. Glory to God. Yes, we God. were buried into his death. Glory to God. And we've been raised 
to the newness of life and we seed it in our place of ascension. And that's where you and I, hallelujah, are going to have to demonstrate and rule from our seated place in Christ Jesus. Glory yes, to God. We can't hang. We can't come out of our seat. We can't move out of our seat. We can't come down with the low level devils in this season. Amen. Matter yes, of fact, you got to get that in your mind. Hallelujah. That you from this point on, hallelujah, until Christ come back, until you're in glory, that my place is to remain seated. Yes, hallelujah. Sir. In Christ, under his jurisdiction, under his authority, yes, under sir. his grace, his mighty power. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. And up under who he is. Glory to God. You know what I love about these grace gifts that we're going to be talking about and even the perfecting of the saints to do the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. What I love about this is I really do have this revelation that although, you know, I'm apostle of the Lord and my uh, daughter, Pastor Kilmana, she's a prophet, apostle, evangelist, teacher. she got all that going on in her as well. In the name of Jesus, yes, glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. The grace gifts of God. But it is God the apostle, yes, God the prophet, yes, God the, he the one doing the work. We get to have the titles, hallelujah, God Thank speak you, that title because that gives that realm of a, a jurisdiction, that gives that realm of authority to operate in. But God in you working yes, as the apostle, God in you working yes, as the prophet, God in you working hey, as the pastor, evangelist, and teacher. That's God in you. Yes, hallelujah, glory to God because he's working through you. It yes, says, God. out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Waters. Those rivers is the pneuma of God, the breath of God, hey, the spirit hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, wrapping himself upon you and pulling himself out of yes, you. Sir. Out of you. I said he pulling himself out of you. Thank Good you, God Jesus. for glory. Hallelujah hey, to God. the living God. Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. I'm excited. How about hey, yourself? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, he that ascended, I mean, descended is the same also that ascended of uh, far above all heavens. That he might Thank fill Jesus. all things. Thank you, Lord. And then this is the Lord. And gave some apostles and gave some prophets and gave some evangelists and gave some pastors and teachers. Yes, now, listen to that right there. He said some. He didn't say he gave the male. He gave some. We know that there's neither male or female. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, if you're in Christ Jesus, there's neither female or male, no um, a Greek or Gentile or Jew. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is us as one body under Christ in the name of Jesus the Christ. That. Amen. For the, why, why would that be? Maybe people can get out of it, whether you're female or male, if they understand it's God doing the work. Yes, God. Mm, Hello. Hallelujah. I said God is doing the work. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. And then this is it. This is what this broadcast is all about. Hallelujah. We understand that we the chosen ones as apostles and prophets. Glory to God. Evangelists and pastors and teachers. Our job is to equip. It said for the perfect. Thing yeah, for the maturing of the saints. Yes, God. And why does the ch church need to be, the saints need to be perfected, or the saints need to be mature? And it says right for the work of the ministry. Everyone in this kingdom is working, working members only. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Working members only for the edifying of the body of Christ. I asked God today that he would shift our mindset, yeah, hallelujah, from the Aaron's model to the Melchizedek model. Glory to God, where those who are in the pews no longer thinking that they have to just come to the priest, hallelujah, yes, or the pastor, or the apostle at the front of the church to get a prayer through, hallelujah, yes, or to operate in supernatural. All that impartation uh, that's flowing from you, all that realm of wisdom and understanding and knowledge, hallelujah, those seeds should be now demonstrating out of you. Glory, yes, where you now become teachers, hallelujah, where God, God began to put you in places, yes, hallelujah, to be the light, to cast out devils, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, to give you boldness. Yes, Hallelujah. Right. It talks about that over in Acts in verse um, chapter four. It talks about in three when the when the um, guy um, came and he was a lame man at the gate beautiful and he got up and walked and then they began to be persecuted. Glory to God for mm -hmm. what they had yeah. done and really as persecuted for the name of Jesus. Beloved, don't think it's strange that we now, even in the 21st century, are being persecuted mm -hmm. for the name of Jesus. Glory to God. How it's a part of the plan. Yes, Glory right. to God. It's the name that's under fight. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's yeah. the thought. Because the Bible says, at the name of hey, Jesus Christ, at the name yeah. of King God and I, Yeshua, Hamashiach, the demons tremble, sickness obey. Hallelujah. Healing come forth. Yes, Deliverance right. come forth. They're not crying or, or fighting over Buddha or Allah, or uh, even no, 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 no. the Satanic Temple, hallelujah, it's, it's because of the dominion and the authority yeah, in the name that's above every name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because everything has to come under the authority of that name. Glory to God. So, you know, that's why we're being fought against. Glory to God. And I'm asking God today that even as it was in Acts 4, when they prayed after being persecuted, they didn't say, oh, the devil being busy. They counted it an honor to be persecuted for the Lord. Yes, Glory to God. Where he end up, they say, you know, they asked the Lord to give them boldness. Yes, Glory to God. After they got filled again. So you got to get, we got to get filled over and over every day. You need fresh yes, baptism Lord. of the Holy Spirit. And they said in the place shook. And they said, they, and they asked God, they was praying that God would give them boldness to proclaim the word. Yes, so you and I, we're going to have to need to have boldness in this time that the, um, the kingdom of darkness is coming up against us mm-hmm. through human beings or to those who are in authority in these high places to try to say something that's not. But it's nothing new. It's something that's been going on yes, all Lord. along. But you got to know that if God has clothed you for this time, he has set you in this time to be a witness and a demonstrator mm-hmm. of the power of the kingdom of God. He got your back. Yes, Glory God. to God. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. They try to kill Jesus every single day. We got to get out of this seeker friendly church that, yes, you God. know, with all these motivational speakers. Glory to God. And God ain't never say motivate us. He said to equip us for the work of the ministry. Yes, equip God. us that we have an opposing force in the name. This ain't about you feeling good. It's about you knowing who you are. Because yes, guess what? In the body of Christ, you ain't going to always feel good. Yes, Because you got an enemy. Mm-hmm. Your allegiance is to God, and therefore you have an opponent. The moment you shift kingdom, the mm-hmm. opponent, hallelujah, is after you and the things of God because he's trying to destroy mm-hmm. the work of the Lord through you and yes, destroy God. you from becoming the witness. Hallelujah. Cause you to cower down because you're afraid. Hallelujah. Offending. And the Bible says offenses shall come. Amen. Yes, but woe to the one that they come through. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Glory God. to God. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to read, um, uh, uh, finish this up because it not only... Are we um, prophetess, pastor, kill? When I put on the, on our um, opening pastor, because I know that's what you're ordaining, and you, you're in your husband's stand as pastor. But we know that you also you you're very strong in the prophetic. You're a prophet of God. Matter of fact, you know even as he been talking to you about Jeremiah. But I remember when he first brought you into salvation, he began to tell you that you were the prophet. Mm-hmm. And one thing I know about you that you are an accurate prophet. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and that's one of the things that I've always loved about you is that when I know you had something to say, I knew that it was of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I know that your heart has been right with God, and you're living a holy woman these years that you've been serving God and Amen. serving His people. That's what we do, beloved. We just a servant. To, we right. serving. God. God, Amen. in the name of Jesus, we serve it, leaders, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, glory to God, and then it says in verse 13, mm-hmm. so our job is to, is to perfect you, to cause you to mature, and also for the working of the ministry, and for the edifying, or the building up of the body of Christ, till we all, hello, mm-hmm. all come into the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, Unto a perfect man, unto a mature man, unto the measure of the stature, that's powerful right here, Mm -hmm. unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Hallelujah. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, and it's going to be our last piece here. Hallelujah. And cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Glory to God. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joint together. Glory to God. And compact by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. I'm going to tell you, the key is in love. Amen? Amen. I'm going to say that again, in love. Yes, so God. we, we got to get revelation, you know, as we, we uh, come in um, future dates, you know, um, about walking in this place uh, of authority, being submitted under his authority and now have power of attorney, mm-hmm. hallelujah, to use his name and his word at the same time yeah. to bring forth heaven on earth. And that's our job as the body of Christ is to bring heaven on earth. Amen. Mm-hmm. Glory Amen. to God. And in Romans 8 and 2, it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have freed me or redeemed me from the law of sin and death. So there's two laws in operation still yes, here, sir. as it is with gravity, but the law of living aerodynamics where the plank lift up. The law of sin and death is still here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But there's a higher law. There's yes. a higher authority called the law of hey, the spirit of life hallelujah. in 
Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Mm. Hallelujah. Which Thank has freed Jesus. us. So anything, hallelujah, we're going to really, really be delving in as we get into the deep things of, um, in order to even operate in what we're talking about, you got to do a meditation in your heart. Glory to God. Of mm. What Glory. has happened at the cross. And so when you think about that, you and I are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. And your spirit is the most holy place. Glory to God. The holies of holies. And your soul is the holy place. And then your body is out of court. Glory to God. So everything that we need in the temple of God is in the holies of holies. It's in our relationship and in our presence. So the Bible tells us that you're going to have to meditate. Because we talk about the outer court where you get your cleansing at. That's where the brazen labor is at. Glory to God. Your brazen labor in the New Testament is the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. And when you begin to go in and see what he did in your spirit. And when you go into your imagination. That's your meditation. Your muttering and merge. Hallelujah. And musing over the word of God. He said, let not the law of this book depart out of your mouth, Joshua 1 and 8, but to meditate day and night, exactly. hallelujah, that you may observe to do, hallelujah, that you may make your way prosperous and successful. Yes, so ma'am. when you begin to go in, that's what you call renewing of your mind as well. Yes. You're going in and, and you are changing, you're seeing yourself that I'm no longer no, just no old sinner saved by grace or, you know, I'm a filthy mm-hmm. old this and that, that's a lying demon from hell. Yes, you were a sinner, but now you're saved. Either you're, either you're mm-hmm. righteous now or you're a sinner now. Which one? I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, so I go in because see the you can't operate in supernatural with an identity crisis. Mm. Yes, God. God from God. You can't operate in the supernatural without understanding the finished work of the cross. Yes, so you Lord. go in and you go in and you talk about because God just don't want you to have healing. He wants you to live in divine health. But yes, when you Lord. begin to meditate on the inside from the holy place which is in you, mm, yeah. which is your spirit. Thank Hallelujah. You, Glory to God. How you begin to, by the time you get through going through all that process, I'm not going to get on that today because that's not where I'm supposed to be going at today. But when you learn how to do that, you'll come out of there with so much joy and so much peace in the name mm-hmm. of Jesus. And then you'll be able to operate. So when the enemy starts trying to come your way with something that's not legally yours, you'll say, you better go to another house. I'm waiting on sign for the package. We're going to send you right on where you need to go. Yeah. I don't receive that you, in Jesus. the name of Jesus. And so, um, Providence, you know, we're talking about um, this supernatural church. I'm going to be calling you Providence on the broadcast. I know you're standing in the, as the pastor, but I know that God is horny. You know, God is calling for the trumpets. God mm-hmm. is calling for the prophet. And so your mm-hmm. voice shall be heard throughout all nations in Amen. the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. I thank yes, God for that. This thank is the Jesus. set time that God raises you up to present you as a prophetic voice in the earth, as a part of the fitly joined together body that we work together Amen. and stuff like that. But God, that began to um, talk to me this morning. I started to call you up and I was thinking about, you know, what we're doing with the prayer. I still want to kind of, kind of get, I want to really reiterate that because I know that is the prerequisite Mm -hmm. to the domain and everything that we're going to walk in. And so, um, but what God was telling me, he was talking about how many people are leaving the church or how many pastors or how many churches are shut down. Mm-hmm. See, I believe that the houses, uh, a lot of the houses that God will be sending, even as I said that morning when God said that he's sending you to the body of believers. Mm-hmm. And um, just recently, uh, we're not going to mention his name. You know, maybe he might want to come on to testify one day himself. But somebody who pretty much had given up, mm-hmm. you know, was ready to throw in the towel. Mm-hmm. Really what? And I mean, a mighty apostle of the Lord, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, a mighty apostle of the Lord. Amen. And Amen. then God had you give him a call. I hadn't talked to my brother in a few years now, you know. I would, mm-hmm. I would be over there and I would preach in his ministry and different things like that. You know, but God, the reason why God had you give him a call, because that connection had to be made, because he had needed to be revived again. He yes, needed to be God. resuscitated and resurrected mm-hmm. again hey, in the name of Jesus. And I believe that there are many out there that feel like giving up, mm-hmm. you know, feel like throwing in a towel, feel like what God said ain't so. Yes, and and I'm going to tell you, if you're even there, that's really a wonderful sign to be in, that you know that you're right at the precipice of the breakthrough. Hey, Bell Perez, the God of the breakthrough. Yes, Amen. God. Glory to God. Going to break you through out hey, on God. the other side. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hey. And if that's you, then you need to be worshiping. Mm-hmm. So I believe what God wants oh, yeah. um, when it comes to to that move of going into other churches and basically, hopefully at 5 a.m., but if not, we can work with whoever, you know, whatever yeah, the times are. So you'll be talking about that with them later on. Mm-hmm. But to bring back life to the congregation, bring back life to the pastors and the leaders that feel like giving up. Matter of fact, now I'm talking about this, another pastor that I, I ministered at not long ago. And he had left me a voicemail. I haven't had a chance to, I haven't even got back with him. 
um, and I didn't have his number. And the number that I had from his wife is no longer in service. I got to locate him um, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And he was calling in through the church. And so mm-hmm. maybe I need to check the voicemail to find out um, if I could find a number for him. But I know that he was, he's, he, he was saying how he felt like giving up. But God resuscitated a church when I went there, and he caught me. And so I believe that um, a lot of people are leaving the ministry or a lot mm-hmm. of people are exiting the church and going mm-hmm. into the satanic realm or just quitting church because of their weary and mm-hmm. well-doing. Mm-hmm. And I believe that... Um, like again, if I if I'm a family, if I'm a family, mm-hmm. and you know I'm being wore out by my children and wore out by my life circumstances, mm-hmm. I can invite someone else that can come in and help me because they may not be dealing with the same thing mm-hmm. that um, I'm dealing with. And I believe Amen. that that's what God is doing. He's helping. He's sending us to help people to encourage them again through prophetic mm-hmm. intercession, through mm-hmm. prayer, and to help them live again and Amen. to overthrow and overcome whatever it is that's been hindering and removed. Mm-hmm. Because, of, you know, when you have the armed force, you have the military, you have the army, you mm-hmm. have the Marines, you have the Navy, you uh-huh. know, you have the Air Force. So you have all these different um, forces, but it's one mm-hmm. military. Right. And like how it is with us, it's one military. Mm-hmm. And so then what we call in when you need help, you know, mm-hmm. like if when they, they might got the army, but then they might need the Air Force to come mm-hmm. in or they might need the water. Right. And so I believe that that's what God is calling us to do, to come in to assist, mm-hmm. you know, to resuscitate and to revive from the hard places that we've been in and things like that to, right. to live again, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've been seeing mighty outbreaks and mighty moves of God. And I know it's due to the intercession. Mm-hmm. Um, in the name of Jesus, we always had a 5 a.m. line, but it's something about coming on the grounds mm-hmm. has even opened up a new realm mm-hmm. of um, power and authority and glory yes. realm. You know, we've always been a church that operated in the supernatural and seeing deliverance and mm-hmm. miracles of healing mm-hmm. from cancer to spines being healed and different things like that. Uh-huh. But it's time for the believers that are sitting in the pews to do the work of the ministry as well. Amen. 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 So I'm going to turn that over to you again. Um, what God told me was that he's sending us to people who might just need somebody to come in and help them to mm-hmm. to feel like doing it again or feel right. like going further right. in this thing. Yeah, Amen. Sure. Anybody out there, and that's you, and even if you want to call in again at 248-796-8241 for prayer, we'll be willing to pray with you mm-hmm. regarding that. Amen. 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 I was just getting this address together. Um Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you just, you just, oh. Thank you, Jesus. God, I give you glory. Yeah, it's, um, it is amazing because, um, and I I do believe that, you know, and agree with that as well, too. Um, And it's it's funny because a guy has started, um, even in my prayers, I notice that I'm even praying differently. And it really goes back to that scripture. Let me pull that up real quick. The scripture in Jeremiah, when he has spoke to me, you know, about, um, what he's called me to do, you know, and the uprooting and pulling down. But I just want to read it because I, I, I got it memorized from the Amplified version. But I just want to go back to that right quick. And that's in Jeremiah 1. Ah, oh, bless his um, name. Jeremiah 1, verse, it's either 10 or 11. Let me see. Mm. Thank you, hey, Jesus. God, we bless so it's God. in Jeremiah 1, 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and I'm, I'm using my... Um, yeah, technology. So um, I'm offline, I'm kicked offline. <laughs> so I got to use the ASV, the American Standard Version. Wait, are you? Did, were you trying to read it in the King James, or you want to do it in the um, Amplified? What you trying um, to get to? Because I do have the King James Version right here. Okay, I'll do. You know what this says? This is fine. That's it says, fine. Okay. Mm-hmm, yep. okay. Okay. So in Jeremiah 1, 10, again, that's Jeremiah 1, 10, it says, mm-hmm. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to pluck up and to break down and to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Mm-hmm. And so that was like the, the charge that he had given me um, when he really began to speak to me about this whole prayer. Um, and I've been calling it a prayer movement, but I've been hearing lately it must be a prayer um Prayer crusade. Amen. Amen. And so, I like crusade better. Yeah, than I do too. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been hearing prayer crusade. Amen. And so as I've been praying, just for even on an individual basis, as I be praying for people, God really has me going in, and it actually it, it comes right back to this because of what's happening is, um, you know, the Bible says hope deferred make the heart sick. Mm-hmm. You know, and so you got people, um, you know, even with us, you know, you got people who've been who've been praying and fasting and and doing this. Oh, you know what? I want to pull up. Can you pull up Isaiah fifty? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. Lord had me read that yesterday during the prayer time. Mm-hmm, I love that. It is. It's, it's, 
God had, he said, look, this is what y'all been doing, mm -hmm, and it, it mm -hmm. hasn't been working, and you want to know why it hasn't been working because My of God. this. And he said, so this is what you need to do in order to get results. My God. And I'm going to pull it up in here. My God. So, but he had been, um, you know, again, you got people that's doing, you know, everybody is not, you know, wicked and out to, to get, you know, to do people wrong. And mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. got people who are, are who are really, you know, faithful and true to God and really want to um, see God's will being done. Mm -hmm. And so, but you can be praying and believing God for things and it don't show up and you've been, you know, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30, some people been at it for years and still haven't really seen the results that they've been believing God for. And so, and that can make a person weary. You know, That's right. he tells us don't be weary and well doing, but you know, you can, when you waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, you know, you can get a little weary in that because you're like, okay, especially depending on the circumstances, depending on what, what you're, um, petitioning God for, you know? And so, um, so, but a lot of times the reason why we're not, there's a couple of things. I'm going to even read in Isaiah 58. That can be one of the reasons. Um, but another thing is, um, because again, you have opposition. There's things that, um, and the Lord gave me this a little while ago, but he was saying how just by association, just by DNA, you didn't sign up for it. You didn't say, hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to be a whoremonger. Hey, I want to be, you know, a backbiter. Hey, I want to, you know, um, do this and do all these. I want to be a thief. I want to be a murderer. You didn't sign up for this, but because it's in your bloodline, you know, by association because it's in your DNA because your forefathers have done these things and because you're associated with them you've come down through that bloodline and through that those generations those curses that rest upon rest upon your uh, bloodline now automatically have showed up at your door and now you're doing things that you don't even want to do you know and you've been like a prisoner or a slave to these things just by association and so that's why you have to go in and uproot the very seed of that thing and so you know people can be struggling and wonder why they're struggling but a lot of times there's again uh, unseen forces that we're dealing with and until we excavate or we get rid of those the the root of the issue you know mm -hmm. then that's when we can go in and start building and start planting you know what we want to see mm -hmm. I was listening to, um, um, I don't know if she's considered a pastor. I'm going to call her Pastor, Pastor Chi Chi. Um, she uh, is. Tell me to Bismarck. Bismarck. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's a pastor. Pastor. This was so powerful to me. Um, and it goes to, biblically speaking, call those things that be not as though they mm -hmm. were. But she was talking about how in Africa and how a certain place, how the hospitals were in very bad condition and all mm -hmm. these, they had bad linen, they had bad yeah, this, I bad that, that, all that stuff. And she said, but the Lord had began. So she said that they, in their intercessory prayer, they was coming. That's why this piece is so important, um, um, beloved, because uh, when we come together, she said, she said, you know what? We're going to create the kind of hospital that we want. And they begin to say, you know what? We're going to, we remove those dirty, nasty linens off of the hospital shelves and we restack by the way of the spirit we 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 stack up and put up nice fresh clean linen mm -hmm. we even sterilize that sterilize the place with disinfectant and we decree it won't be no old stinky smell but mm -hmm. now it smells like disinfectant we we decree that there's a uh, prescription of medication new clean you know good medication that's, that's on the right. shelves and so they begin to create they begin to speak exactly what they wanted and they went in by the way of the spirit to create what they wanted and within a week she got a call right. that a um truck had she said hey pastor chi chi did you hear what happened? She said, no, I didn't hear. They said, well, um, some big organization had donated all this stuff to this whatever hospital it was. And it, tr it came in by the truckloads. And they got the old linen off. That's and they right. put new linen on. They put new medication That's on. Right. You know, they disinfected the place. And so they made it healthy and safe for mm -hmm. the people that were coming in. And so by the way, the spirit, we're going in and we're building. We're That's planting. Right. But we got to first remove. See, there's something first that takes place. You got to remove what's already been taken. You got to deal with. That's what she was doing in the spirit. Mm -hmm. She removed all mm -hmm. the dirty yeah. clothes, the dirty That's linen. It. Mm -hmm. She removed mm -hmm. it and she replaced Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it even shows us when people go in to possess the land, you got to first, and it, it shows you, you got to go in and remove what's on the land off, and then right. you take the land. And so a lot of times we're fighting and we're trying to make things happen or we're praying and we're believing, but we're still not seeing results because we haven't went down to the root of that thing and removed the That's issue right. from the root. So then we can start building and seeing the kingdom come right. in the earth as it is in heaven. And so, um, and that's what we're doing. We're going around and we're partnering with people because that, you know, apostle, he he said, hey, you know, this is, he started testifying about where he was at. He really had given up. You know, he didn't want to do this no more because he had some blows. You know, he had in, encountered some things and it kind of had, you know, knocked the life out of him. And he was mm -hmm. just like, I'm done. You know, I want to just do life regularly. Like when Peter, you know, Peter said, hey, you know, Jesus said, you're going to deny me. And he said, no, I'm not going. He said, oh, yes, you are. He said, no, I'm not going to do that. He right. said, oh, yes, you are. And Peter said, okay, well, <laughs> whatever. You think you know, but I know. Mm -hmm. 
we'll see, you know. And so, and then when it came time for the crucifixion, Peter did what? He denied Jesus, just like Jesus said. And he felt so bad within himself. He was so tore up behind it that he decided, you know what? I, I, I tried to do this thing, but this ain't really working. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to what I'm comfortable with, mm -hmm. you know. And so he decided to go back and start back fishing. He went back mm -hmm. to that thing that I know how to do. You know, it's my comfort zone. Let me just go back to that and let me lead this preaching business alone because obviously I'm not, I'm not equipped to carry it out. Mm -hmm. And what I love about Jesus, when he came back to get him, he didn't say, now I told you, brother, you was going to fall. I told you this and I told you that. He didn't even point out what he did. He went right back into him and said, hey, do you love me? That's well, me. if you love me, then I need you to get back onto the post because many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. I know that's what you did, but you did that to equip you for this now. That assignment is up. Now you're a fisherman of men. That's so I need right. you to go out here and fish these men because I've called you to it, not by how great you are, that's but right. because of how great I am. That's I right. knew you was going to mess up before you messed up, but now I called you to this thing. So I need you to get back on your assignment and do what I've called you to do. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, that over there, it may work, but that ain't what you're supposed to be doing. That's you're right. supposed to be doing this right now. Right. That was like you said earlier, you said his prerequisite. Mm -hmm. That was his training grounds mm -hmm. to be where he Absolutely. is at. Absolutely. So I can even look at my secular jobs and I can mm -hmm. see on the things that even in the vision that God has given me, mm -hmm. you know, when I used to do, um, you know, just even with pre-employment skills right. and different, you know, thing, yeah. just different things mm -hmm. like that. And now God mm -hmm. wants these things done, yeah. you know, so you'll think that you're in a job and, you know, cause I never ever thought I would be a pastor, apostle, anything right. that was, <laughs> yeah, was so far either. from me. Right. You know, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't raised in it or anything right. like that. That was not on my agenda. Absolutely. You know? I understand. But when I gave myself and my mm -hmm. heart to the Lord, mm -hmm. but then that's when God says, when you delight yourself in him, he'll give you the desires, desires of, of your, your heart. heart. Right. And that's twofold. We know him putting his desires in your heart, bringing the past. Now mm -hmm. my appetite changed for the things, and then God began to show me who I was already supposed, mm -hmm. to, be. supposed to be. Absolutely. But you said something uh, really powerful. You know, when you're talking about even with the giving up or this, that, and other. And mm -hmm. I don't believe that there's a pastor that has pastor, or probably people who have been in even other offices mm -hmm. or, you know, your pastor's probably, that there may be a time you're trying to say, was I really called to this? Mm -hmm. Or was this really supposed mm -hmm. to be? Or, you know, I, you want to just give up. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's not a one, you mm -hmm. know. And then the key to understanding that there's um, high-level warfare that's taking mm -hmm. place. But mm -hmm. what I think, what, the part that I want to um, do, and I think that a lot of us, you know, we get in our own little world, mm -hmm. and then, but other people don't come and help us, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We don't have people want to help us. People are all about themselves, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You got five churches on there. You just, we're not helping one another. We're not sensitive enough mm -hmm. in the realm of the spirit because we're all on ourselves instead mm -hmm. of working, mm -hmm. understanding. And then even some of, you know, even the larger churches, you know, they don't pour back into it, even some of the smaller ones, yeah. you know. And it's just the size of a church doesn't mean, you know, doesn't really mean anything. Mm -hmm. When it comes to power and glory, mm -hmm. but all of us need to be ministered to, right? You know, and he, he even talks about us singing psalms and hymns to one another. We need to help each other. Mm -hmm. We have to help each other mm -hmm. because if one can't do it by itself, and for right. our brother to be at that state, mm -hmm. obviously there was an alliance of people that mm -hmm. can help him. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I believe there's many people out there without, that need that alliance, and that's Absolutely. why I believe God is sending us to those who just really just want somebody to come and can you help me out for a moment mm -hmm. here? Absolutely, you know. Absolutely, because a prayer is like it. It, it, it tends to the garden. It, it brings life, you know. So when you go in, it's like that prayer begins to water that garden. So mm -hmm. where the garden has died or its weeds overtaken the garden or where it's grown dry or parched, you know, or where the grounds are hard and brittle, mm -hmm. prayer goes in to soften up those grounds, to water those garden, and water that water that garden and to bring life, to command life to come back and spring mm -hmm. forth in that thing. And so, but yeah, that's when he, again, back into the Jeremiah 110, he said, hey, I need you to go in and I need you to uproot. I need you to pull down and overthrow and de destroy and then to build and to plant, mm -hmm. you know, um, because again, you got people, like you said, in all different states. And the thing with Peter, Peter wanted to, to give up because he had failed, mm -hmm. you know, and he wanted to give up. And then you have some people who just been waiting and waiting and waiting. It seemed like they ain't got no results, they got no help, and they're ready to give up, right. you know. You got some people who've been through some really hard places and been hit so many times. And because there's not a proper uh, prayer, you know, wall around them to keep them, their arms lifted That's up, right. you know, they're ready to give up. So you got all different types of cases. Because I'm even telling you, the devil, I mean, just even in us, we've only been doing this for like a month and the enemy has been I'm talking about just all kinds of little crazy stuff we try to go to the building to get in and pray and we locked out the building out. I mean you know the same key that's been working key, but it, won't. it won't open and then I had called our minister of music and kind of find out the system been working perfectly fine when they go in but we go in with the system screeching loud noise I mean it's been all kinds of stuff and um, just a lot of things even the people personal life that's been really faithful to the prayer you know different things are taking place and then the devil even tried to come to me and say hey you know you know he tried to make you already you know uh, you know 
want to do this, or you know, this, I'm tired, or I don't feel like it, or just give up. Or he start making you, again, like Peter, start looking at yourself and looking at your inadequacies and looking at, well, I need to get this together. I need to work on this, or I need to work on that. And then you feel like you're not uh, adequate, or you don't measure up to what God is calling you to do. And so you feel like, well, maybe I ain't the one for the job, you know. Uh, but God is so awesome those are because of deceiving uh -huh, spirits. Mm -hmm, you know, that's mm -hmm. when you know that you're doing something. Right, right. Because that's the opposition. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And I, just like even on Tuesday, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I said, you know, I want you to bring the word. You say, yeah. And so I, once I said, I want you to bring the word, all of a sudden, shoot, I ain't even got to go to. I don't feel like, I mean, I, mm -hmm. but I could feel the spirit of it. Mm -hmm. I, I remember meeting this demon mm -hmm. um, back earlier in the year mm -hmm. as I was trying to antagonize mm -hmm. me about not even wanting to come to church some mm -hmm. days. And I've never, I mean, I've been. I've been going full throttle for 19 years mm -hmm. when I, you know, I mean, God sold mm -hmm. me out. I mean, I run with fervency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody know mm -hmm. me know that's exactly Amen. what it is. Amen. You know, and whatever, then try to get in my borders. You know, that can also come from association as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I had, I, I started recognizing the spirit and I heard in my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was glad when they said that's that. That's it. Lord. <laughs> so then I heard the Lord say, I, I'm saying it in my mind. I'm hearing it in my mind, but it's the Lord speaking to mm -hmm. me. He said, say it out. Mm -hmm. And I said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. And I'm telling you that I can hear the demon run mm -hmm. with terror. And I mean, I've had some serious demonic opposition, mm -hmm. you know, where I was waking, where I would come up off of the floor with my leaf with my hands up. Mm -hmm. And I can hear these demons screaming because I say, Jesus is at his Lord. And it. I can hear, I was being attacked. I mean, you know, that might be a little deep for some of them out there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But when you're a deliverer, Satan in, in, in his kingdom tries to show up on your border. Mm -hmm. But, and then I, I have forgot that when you put your hands up, that was your victory pose. Amen. And one Amen. day I was going by the um by some that saw one of the trophies we had, mm -hmm. and they had the hands look like we don't mm -hmm. won the victory, mm -hmm. you know. Amen. And I started laughing. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll be at two, three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> all in out, you know, stuff. And I mean, I can hear the fire. I can hear these demons mm -hmm. screaming at the sound of God's voice. It would be like hell shaking, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And all that was a part of the training. But none of that has made me shrink back. That's it. You know, I'd have been through a whole lot, but ain't mm -hmm. nothing made me shrink back. Mm -hmm. And I never worried about whether or not I wanted to go to church. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, I'm trying to get there. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm telling you, <laughs> this past, after this past summer, maybe because mm -hmm. we did all those days of prayer, we out there, mm -hmm. you know, so, and all that. I was like, I don't want to see a church. I ain't trying to go to church. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, you know, when I took those couple of two, that the couple of weeks off or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. it, that's why the two when you when you even took some time off you don't even feel like going back the mm -hmm. devil fight your back to get you to go back but the Lord say say it and I blew him out and I kept saying Daddy pick it with my yo baby I went all the way to God be Daddy mm -hmm. baby the Lord them demons ran so quick and I mean I went into a praise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beloved, if you're feeling like you don't feel like doing it, or you mm -hmm. feel like giving up, I just dare you mm -hmm. to just lift up holy hands. I just That's dare it. you to shout out your mouth. Hey, God. Amen. It's demonic demons. Yeah, no Hovering over you up in the side of yeah. your house to make you not want to do what God called you to do. Mm -hmm. He got to, you know, mm -hmm. and with this prayer, you know, like you said, getting up in the morning and all the different things that's been going on, mm -hmm. you know, and then God, he done, he done start waking me up. And he, I popped up like the jack in the box on yesterday, like mm -hmm. 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm laying in, I mean, I just jump up and mm -hmm. I start praying, so far blowing, I start doing all kinds of stuff, decreeing in the cloud, like, what the yes. heck is going on? Yes, God. <laughs> and it, <laughs> Because God has start waking me up between 1, 30 and 2, mm -hmm. you know, for me to pray. And then when it's time for me to come to church, I'm like, that's when I feel like I want to go to sleep. Right. You know, right. and stuff like that. But it's all part of warfare. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that means we're doing some stuff. Mm -hmm. Because he said, we sow into the spirit, we shall reap in the spirit. That's so it. there's always a reward, mm -hmm. you know, for this. He said, those who mourn shall be confident. So what we're travailing or what we're mourning or what we're grieving over. Because we're grieving over the state of, mm -hmm. um, of us mm -hmm. as a people. That's and where even thing. our United States of America, mm -hmm. you know, is trying or is going but we the salt and the light we have to stand and guard it and protect it you, you know and do that creative that that's that prophetic that that creative realm mm -hmm. you know you have the um, there's really like three realms of prayer you know and so mm -hmm. we we going in and she going in using her creative ability because we have the ability to create right. we can remove it remove mm -hmm. all that, that, that but see I'm going to tell you what people do some people I bind you devil but then they don't replace it with nothing right. they don't loose it with nothing right. so we ain't just binding because not only you want to bind you want to cast that devil out you want to loose him from his assignment you want to loose bring forth what he's tied mm -hmm. up 
up. You want to unloose it and bring it in. Mm -hmm. We got to do both parts of that. Amen. You know. So a lot of times, the reason why we haven't seen it in twenty years because we ain't really prayed mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sitting here getting a um, revelation. The Lord brought back a dream that I had. Remember I shared with you, I had a dream about one of the pastors that I called. Mm -hmm. And um, in the dream when I had called this uh, particular leader, I remember I never, never dreamt about this leader before, but in the dream, we were like in a restaurant and she was sitting down having lunch. And uh, we were somewhere, but she was sitting down and she was eating lunch, but she looked a little distressed or a little perplexed, you know. And I went over and I said, hey, you know. And she said, I've been waiting on you. I've been uh, something because I need you to come in and partner with me so we can pray or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, man, I, said, I was going to call you about that, you know. Mm -hmm, but it was she was going through some things, and she was saying, I needed you to connect with me in mm -hmm, prayer mm -hmm. um, because of whatever she was going through. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're going to actually be heading that way as well, too. And it will be probably on a different time, so I'll talk to you about that later. But um, I tell you, God is just moving. God is moving, and, and it ain't. And the thing is, it's not based off of how we feel because that's where the devil operates in our emotions that's and in right. our the sense realm, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, that's you know, place. we be want to. I don't care if you don't feel like. If you don't feel like, you just still get up and go because regardless of if I feel like or not, I'm gonna keep on moving. I'm gonna keep on doing that's it. Right. Amen. And um, and it's not by my might nor by my power, but, but by, by His spirit. spirit. So I'm just moving what He says do, and, and that's just it. Amen. <laughs> and I believe that when you're not feeling that way, then that's when you need to move even the more. Mm -hmm. That might me a prophetess Kimberly Payne mm -hmm. when her and her we got connected when I was working at um, Mary Grove, Mary Grove. Mm -hmm. and the ladies room was directly across from my office and mm -hmm. she was on staff there and I saw her come out the restroom and she walked past my office but the Lord backed her up in my office mm -hmm. and she said I heard the devil said don't go in there she ain't gonna want to be bothered with you you know and this mm -hmm. that that and other mm -hmm. and she walked backwards mm -hmm. and I remember speaking to her you know and mm -hmm. then the connections and all the mighty miracles I remember you know even thinking about her where she um, Chantel is in high school now, but I remember she was uh, the youngest member of Transform Alliance Ministry, receiving mm -hmm. the baptism of the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. God used that same child at seven years old to take me through healing. You know, mm -hmm. I was, something was on me for about a month or so. And then the elders was like, we can, um, James was like, we going to pray for you guys. I said, no, no, no. God didn't tell me. He told mm -hmm. me to tell the little one. Mm -hmm. And so the little woman, the little girl laid her hands on me and she just travailed like a grown woman. Mm -hmm. ah! And when mm -hmm. she did it, I threw that thing up and I got well. I came up off the floor well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And that's Amen. what we're talking about, even the young people and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So when you feel like you shouldn't or the devil telling you shouldn't, that's mm -hmm. when you should do it even more, mm -hmm. you know? Amen. And, uh, you know, even I mean, you may not know it. I know I'm real. You know, you don't just want anybody uh, just showing up in your place. You pray about right. it, you know? Absolutely. And stuff right now. Now we're dealing with those who we are affiliated with, those who we have relationship with. One thing I know that we're known for is prayer, mm -hmm. you know? Amen. Um, they talk about, you know, who we are in prayer. Mm -hmm. I do know that our ministry is prayer and everything mm -hmm. else has just come out of that. Right. Our gifting and our ability to operate. I remember when right. I first got baptized with the Holy Spirit. I mean, I only have been baptized on Friday and on Monday I'm interceding. Matter of fact, I'm in a sea seeing visions and travailing and crying. I didn't know what a travail was. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I was able to cut it off to go to work, and I was feeling sad. And your friend mother told me that to go back and intercede because you had to finish it. I'm like, intercede? What the heck is intercession? Because mm -hmm. um, I got filled in my home. You know, God mm -hmm. began to take me to the deep thing, the glory becoming all under the windows, all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could be in prayer for hours and mm -hmm. laughing and, and um, just all kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But it was through prayer, you Amen. know. And then... Um, I remember I was shake so bad and the smoke coming all out my head and mm -hmm. all kind of things just from the glory of God mm -hmm. that came out of the intimacy. And mm -hmm. so then the second week I'm sitting in church. I was a part of the Salvation Army. They don't, they don't teach you on, you know, being baptized with the Holy Spirit, take communion, any of those things. But I, mm -hmm. that's why the Lord was training me about it in, in that. And mm -hmm. then the next thing that happened was I spoke in tongues. I mean, I was sitting in church and I'm sitting in the pulpit. I was a young people's pastor, which is a young people's sergeant major, and it just started coming out of my mouth. And it was so powerful and so authoritative. The pastor fell on the ground, mm -hmm. started interpreting the tongues. Now, I only been baptized with the baptism of the Holy Spirit for two days. I mean, for years, I could, every time I tried to open up my mouth and worship, I could only get in for two seconds and I'd be gone in the realm of the Spirit mm -hmm. for hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were birthed in that thing. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. And we both been doing the same thing. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, God is So awesome. now we're going to be at um, Prophetic Corner. Mm -hmm. We're going to be there on, um, and we still will have prayer at our church, which again is 13001 Finkel Avenue. Um, we're at the corner of Ward, W-A-R-D. Um, we are between Schaefer and Meyer. And... Um, 
and our lot is in the rear, so we have to park in the rear. So we'll um, we'll still have prayer going on there, 5 a.m. prayer. That's on the mm -hmm. west side of town if you're in the and west And it's, it's a school. It's an mm -hmm. uh, old Bethune Elementary School. In case you might can't see the, the sign, you should yeah. be able to, but in case you don't see the... Um, the address yeah. it is the old Bethune Elementary School and it sits on it's a block long from Ward and Sorrento again as she said parking is in the rear mm -hmm. and it's a one story um, like brownish color building 5 a.m. 5 a.m. amen but we will be moving the, pr the prayer crusade will be uh, moving thank you Jesus um, we'll be moving uh, starting on this upcoming Monday. We will be at Prophetic Corner Deliverance um, Ministries International, and that's under the leadership of Apostle um, Lawson. And um, the address is 8829 Van Dyke. That in, that's, again, in the great city of Detroit, and the zip code is 48213. Again, that's Prophetic Corner Deliverance Ministries International um, under the, the leadership of Apostle Lawson. And the address is 8829 Van Dyke. Um, and again, that's in Detroit, um, zip code 48213. It's off of 94 and Van Dyke. Amen. Off of 94 and Van Dyke. Amen. So we will be there at 5 a.m. from 5 until 6. We would love to see you there. Um, if you desire prayer, if you have any further questions or desire prayer of any sort, you can feel free to give us a call. At 248-352-8093. 248-352-8093. And that's the community center. You can do our church at 734-728-2970. Again, 734-728-2920. Beloved, we are um, excited that you joined us on today, and we look forward to you, and we just want to be one body. Glory to God Amen. in this set hour of time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Father, we just glorify you. We give you glory, and we give you honor, we yes, give God. you praise. Um, for this is the day that the Lord has yes, made, and we God. shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we surrender our all to you yeah. on today, Lord God. Use us for your glory. Use us as your mouthpiece, Lord God, to, de to, to declare with boldness uh, the word of the living God in yes, the name so of Jesus. And Father God, we just thank you for ordering our steps, Lord God. We thank you, Father, that we have been called by you, that we've been set aside for your grace and for your glory, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we just say, have your way in and through us. Father, we just ask that you will bless our, our radio audience in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that you will bless them mightily, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, that you will meet the need of yes, your people, God. that you will strengthen the hearts of every believer, Lord God, that you will lift up the bow down head, that you will refresh the hearts of your people on yes, today, God. Lord God. And Father, um, we just ask for your special choices, blessings upon your people and Jesus' great and mighty name. Again, give us a call if you want us to partner with you. Give us a call we'll for, and we will come over and, hey, we'll lift up each other hands in this thing. Amen? Amen. In Jesus' name. We amen. thank God for who he is and who we are in him. Amen. And we pray your strength on today. Yes, God. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Amen. 11 a.m. Hallelujah. Eastern time at the Worship Center Radio. God bless you, beloved. In Jesus' name. Thank you, listeners, for joining in on today. I'd like to thank my sponsors and those who are at Transform Alliance Ministries, which I am the um, senior leader there, uh, which is located in Detroit at 13001 Finkel Avenue. You can find out more information on our website at transforminglivesministries.org. You can listen to archives at worshipcenterradio.net and click on the Supernatural Church. Thank you for listening and see you next week.